Hi and welcome back. In this guide I'm going to explain to you how to get the heart runes when Brimstone Stands drops on New World. If you're new to the game this is a new ability that's been added. You get five different abilities which I'll go through shortly. The quest line is very simple. It comes in about two hours into the patch itself. I'll go through the crafting and I'll go show you the abilities themselves in use. Once you enter Brimstone Stands the heart runes will not instantly be available. You have to work through the main storyline for approximately one and a half to two and a half hours, depending if you're doing a side quest, etc. as well. It's not difficult to get to this point, but it will actually activate when watering the seed quest line activates. This will then prompt another quest line in the north to establish the heart runes. All you have to do is go to this section, speak to the quest line, then head north to the bridge. When you get to the bridge, head for the arch, turn right, scale through the stairs. You don't have to fight all the brutes, just go straight to the very top as soon as you can if you just want to get the heart rune. If you're going there early, then go back onto the main quest line. Once you have it, go through the portal. After you go through the portal, it'll take you back to the original quest line, and from there, you can start using the heart runes. Now in terms of crafting the heart runes, to craft a tier 3 you're going to have to use equipment pouches from the current dungeons. These are all specific to each heart rune so just check to see which one is which. This is PTR so things may change so bear that in mind so I'm not going to go through them now. It's pr pretty much going to be concrete but things do change. When you want to do a tier 4 you're going to have to use a tier 3 heart rune along with gypsum orb, bridal shards and sulphur corrupted lodestone and your runestone as well. You move up to tier 5, you have to use a tier 4 heart rune, wooden coins, gypsum orbs, 1000 salt petter, azof and sulphur. Now the difference between the heart runes is simple, tier 3 is just an ability, tier 4 comes with one perk. Tier 5 comes with 2 perks, so it is beneficial to actually move up the scale. But if you're doing the grind to 600 at the minute for your gear, you are going to be punished a little bit. And a lot of people have spoke about how many bridal shards now it costs. This is probably why it has dropped in cost to get to the level 625. Because you're having to use them elsewhere, which is good, because it keeps the economy going. And a lot of people don't really pick up salt petter that I've noticed as well. I always see it lying around, people just run past it. That could become quite valuable as we go into using the heart runes. Now to go through the heart runes themselves. The Dark Ascent, you fly up into the air, hitting the ground, it's staggering and dealing 100% heart rune damage within a radius of 3 meters. Press the heart rune ability or basic attack input while hovering to trigger the fall immediately. Next is the Brutal Heart Rune of Stone Form. Harden yourself with layers of stone, cleansing all crowd control debuffs and granting immunity to both stagger and crowd control debuffs for 5 seconds. Next we have the stalwart heart rune of detonate. Charge yourself with explosive energy for 3 seconds and then detonate dealing a 100% heart rune damage within a 5 meter radius. Next we have brutal heart rune of grasping vines. Summon vines around you that will deal 100% heart rune damage and root enemies within a 4 meter radius for 3 seconds. And finally we have the cunning heart rune of the cannon blast. Summon a cannon and fire a powerful long range shot that deals 100% heart rune damage. And that is it, that is heart runes, the questing, the crafting and the abilities themselves. Let me know what you think. Do you think these are a good addition to New World? I personally do. Just bear in mind you can also use these anywhere else in New World. It's not just Brimstone Sands. So if you have new players coming in, friends, you want to help them level up, you can use this ability. I did all this recording in Reekwater because it was a quick way to level up. Things to note, if you're leveling your ability up when after you've used it, if you die it still levels up. But if you have your ability full or leveling up when you log out, when you log back in, it will go back to zero and you'll have to level it back up again. Because every time you use this ability, it goes back to zero. To power it back up, you have to attack enemies. It will just slowly power its way back up. On average in Requater, I was killing level 46 to 50 
and it was killing about seven or eight at a time and it was leveling it back up again so let me know what you think below is this a good thing will you be going straight for the heart runes or playing this the actual story itself until you get there